Good Tuesday morning and welcome to your local station. I'm Kelsey Cairns and I'm Craig DeGrelli. We begin with breaking news this morning out of Denver, Colorado. Five people are dead, others injured, including police officer in the Denver area after a series of shootings on Monday night. Here's what we know. Police exchanged gunfire with the suspect who is now dead. Those shootings began in downtown Denver and continued west into Lakewood. We were just inside the store and heard like one gunshot and then like a whole array and it sounded like they hit the side of the building. Um, and then obviously a bunch of cop cars and they came out and swooped us into the back. Authorities say the officer is in stable condition at the hospital this morning. He's suffering from a gunshot wound. This is a developing story. We will update you both on air and online at mysuncoast.com as we learn more details. And now we have breaking news locally. Meredith Sensulo. Yeah, first alert traffic for you. All lanes southbound I-75 closed in the Northport area. You can see that here. This is a crash with injuries and it's located south of Toledo Blade. You can see multiple fire rescue crews on scene. Again, here's the location. This is going to be approaching the Charlotte County line here in Sarasota and those delays starting to stack up now. You're going to want to use the Kings High way on ramp to southbound I-75 if you want to avoid that. Uh, if you do know somebody that's getting out of the area right now, you'll want to give them a call. Tell them to exit at Toledo Blade. You can access that Kings Highway on ramp using US 41 Tamiami Trail. We'll have another update for you in just a few minutes. Traffic is brought to you by Roofing by Curry. And now we're going to turn things over to meteorologist John Scalzi with today's forecast. Yeah, I got some reduced visibility out out there at times this morning. It's not all that terribly bad. Actually, seven miles in Venice, 10 miles in Sarasota. That's not going to give you a problem. It's really around the mouth of Charlotte Harbor, around the Punta Gorda Airport, where you have seen the heaviest fog reports over the course of time. It's gone down as low as a third of a mile, but it's back up there now to one mile. So I really don't see a big problem. Just be aware that there could be some patches of local fog in your areas. Most places will not have an issue. That'll change probably as we go through the next couple of days. But this morning, the fog forecast calls for just really minor visibility reductions. All in all, it should be a beautiful start to the day with green lights all the way to work, at least weather wise. Kels? Well, this morning, two pedestrians, including a 67 year old man in critical condition after they were hit by a car Monday night around 615. Well, the accident happened at the intersection of Raymond Road and Palmer Road, just east of I-75. Two pedestrians were attempting to cross Palmer Road, getting in the way of an oncoming vehicle. Both of those victims were taken to Sarasota Memorial Hospital. Now an update to a story we first brought you back in September. A local man accused of injuring an eight year old girl in a hit and run is under arrest this morning. The Venice Police Department arrested this guy right here, 64 year old Gregory Valentine on Christmas Eve after forensics evidence confirmed the eight year old's DNA was on the bumper of Valentine's car. The young girl has recovered from her injuries. Valentine is facing charges of reckless driving and failure to remain at the scene of a crash. And this morning, toxicology results are in in the fatal Tesla crash that killed Kevin Gallardo in Lakewood Ranch last year has finally been released. Well, according to those results, we're learning that that driver of the car, Luke Politi, was driving under the influence that night when they crashed into a utility pole. Politi has been charged with vehicular homicide. In Punta Gorda on Monday, a pilot heading for Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport in Illinois is likely breathing a sigh of relief this morning after his plane carrying passengers for Allegiant Airlines crashed into the wing of an empty plane that was parked nearby. Nobody was hurt. Allegiant then canceled the flight. The airline offered full refunds or recommendations on another flight. Well, this morning, the Federal Aviation Administration investigating a single engine plane crash along the Harlong Recreational Airport in Jacksonville that killed two people. Well, the FAA believes the plane crashed about 20 minutes after takeoff early Sunday morning. Both the National Transportation Safety Board and Jacksonville Sheriff's Office are helping in this ongoing investigation. Two children are dead and four more injured after a hit and run crash in South Florida on Monday afternoon. According to police, the driver struck the children who are between the ages of one and 10 years old, and then drove off. As for the injured, Two of the children are in critical condition this morning, two others in serious condition. At this time, authorities are working to get surveillance video, but have not yet released any information about the car involved in the crash. 
And this morning, a family grieving after the body of 14 year old Vensley Maxine was found in a retention pond on Christmas right near his middle school. Well, Maxine was seen last alive near the area last Wednesday before he went missing. According to police, there are no signs of injury or trauma at this time. Official cause of death has not been released as the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office continues their investigation. John. We're looking at a pretty nice start to the day. In fact, for the commute forecast out the door, temperatures coming in in the upper 50s, so maybe a light sweater might be required. We'll get to a daytime high of about 80, so obviously you'll be able to lose that sweater as we go through the morning hours. A little patchy fog is in the forecast, but it's not all that thick. I'll put a couple of yellow lights in for the first couple of hours of this morning's commute. But really, it, I could just as soon put uh, some green lights there because the fog is not going to be that thick today. As we go into the evening hours, green lights all the way. We're looking for clear, calm conditions and just a lot of sunshine in between. Beautiful start to the a beautiful start to the day. All in all, we're looking at fair weather through the remainder of this year. Back to you. All right, 606 the time now. This video is going to make your stomach turn. Newly released footage showing the moment a teenage girl was killed in a police involved shooting in a department store. Plus, I'm ABC's Emlyn in Washington. The CDC is issuing new guidance for asymptomatic patients of COVID 19. That and how Omicron is spreading rapidly across the nation. Coming up. If you think Tesla cars are cool, so is Tesla's solar powered roof. Call for an estimate today. Why worry? Wherever your journey takes you this winter, get away with our best deals of the season. Right now, get huge savings on the entire lineup of award-winning Hyundai vehicles at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. With new cars arriving just in time for the holidays, it's the perfect time to get a Hyundai. Now, lease the all-new Tucson for $229 a month or buy with 0% APR for 48 months. Visit buyhyundai.com today. I was just a small crack in your wall, but now your foundation is really settling in. Uneven floors, cracks in brick, and sticking doors and windows are just some of the signs I've made myself at home. I can do this all day. Frustrated by your foundation? LRE Foundation Repair uses customized peering solutions to stabilize your home's foundation, giving you back peace of mind. Visit LREFoundationRepair.com to schedule your free foundation inspection. You know, there's millions of people without the health insurance they need. I get it. You feel like it's too pricey, a headache to deal with, and not worth it. You deserve something better and better. We're on a mission to get everyone high-quality health insurance. Her. These two. And definitely them. Nice. Need an affordable plan with a nationwide network of local doctors? Amber has got that and more. That's why we're America's number one marketplace health insurance. And better. On a mission for better. Hello. I'm Richard Pelletier with the Help to Retire Group. COVID hit the stock market with a huge drawdown. May I ask you a question? What was the name of that stockbroker who called you and said, we've moved all your money to U.S. Treasuries, don't worry. It didn't happen, did it? We moved quickly on our tactical platform during COVID and moved clients' life savings to safety for them until the market did a complete rebound. If you want that kind of advisor, call us for your free consultation. I'm Richard Pelletier with the Help to Retire Group. Thank you for listening. New South makes the ultimate Florida window. Built for maximum hurricane protection, energy savings, and to keep your family safe. Don't even think about buying windows from anyone else till you see what our factory can do for you. Merry Christmas from Good Morning Sun Coast on your local station. Window World is a family-owned business, and we really mean family. We treat everyone right. Give them the best deal and offer only quality products. We live in this community. We want to take care of our friends and neighbors. Our family-owned business is backed by a company that believes in top quality at the best price. That way, more people can afford energy-saving windows and doors. Great quality products at a very reasonable price. No high pressure. Window World, simply the best for less. Right now on your screen, we're getting footage of the crime scene of that shooting spree that killed several people in Colorado. We're continuing our breaking news coverage out of Denver. Five people have been confirmed dead, at least three others injured following that shooting spree. This is a developing story. As more information is released, we're going to update you both on air and online at mysuncoast.com. 
This morning, new video is showing the moments before a young girl was killed during a police involved shooting inside a Los Angeles department store. She was with her mother in a dressing room as police responded to reports of a man carrying a gun. But as ABC's Andrew Dimbert reports, it turns out the man did not have a gun. A warning, some of the video might be disturbing. This morning, Los Angeles police releasing dramatic video of the moment a teenage girl was killed in a police involved shooting at this department store. Police last Thursday were called to the Burlington store in North Hollywood for a disturbance. I had a hospital customer in my store attacking, attacking customer. Everybody, evacuate the building. In the video, you can see the suspect, Daniel Elena Lopez, acting erratically. At one point, he's holding a bike above his head. He's then seen attacking customers on the escalator before making his way back up to the shopping area. Police enter the store with guns drawn. As they make their way to the second floor, Lopez can be seen ambushing a shopper and attacking her with what police describe as a heavy-duty bike lock. On this body camera video, you can see the moment officers move in. He's hit his head on the right side. She's bleeding. She's bleeding. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. With those three shots, Lopez falls to the floor and would later die at the scene. But police say one of those bullets penetrated through the wall behind Lopez, entering a dressing room, striking and killing Valentina Oriana Peralta. The 14-year-old was there with her mother, trying on dresses for her birthday. We at the LAPD would like to express our most heartfelt condolences and profound regret for the loss of this innocent victim. The officer who fired the shot has not been identified, but officials say he's now on paid leave pending a review. The shooting inciting outrage in the Los Angeles Latino community, echoing a similar incident in 2018, when Melita Carrado was fatally shot by an officer as Los Angeles police were pursuing a suspect at a Trader Joe's supermarket. The DA's office later determined the officer acted lawfully and would not face charges. A fundraising website has been set up for Valentina's family. They're holding a news conference with civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump today. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. First alert traffic for you. Continuing to follow breaking news out of Northport, where all lanes southbound I-75 are shut down, approaching the Charlotte County line. I uh, just got new information from the Florida Highway Patrol telling me that this is an overturned fuel tanker, and crews are on scene to assess any fuel leakage there. And so for now, no one being allowed to pass through delays are building now in that area. Again, all lanes southbound 75 shut down at approaching the Charlotte to County line here in Sarasota County. What you're going to need to do if you need to head southbound is use the Kings Highway on ramp to southbound I-75. At this point, those delays have not reached Toledo Blade Road. So if you know anyone in that area heading southbound, tell them to exit at Toledo Blade, head down to Tamiami Trail and on to Kings Highway. We will continue to keep you updated throughout the morning. Traffic brought to you by Roofing by Curry. Now here's John Scalzi with your forecast. Yeah, I got a nice start to the day weather wise anyway. Uh, we do have a little bit of a satellite indication of some patchy, very light fog in some places, but not all that thick. Certainly not enough to, to bother you. It's more like a mist at this point. We did have revisibilities down around Punta Gorda reduced to about a third of a mile. They're up to five now. So all in all, I really don't see fog as a big issue for you. You can see how it's kind of fluctuated over the last several hours. I think we're on track now to see it become less and less of an issue if there was any issue at all around Punta Gorda. Uh, as we go through the next several days, though, there's likelihood that we'll see fog reforming each and every morning as the humidity values across the region are starting to rise. That's kept our nighttime temperatures up just a little bit. Made it feel pretty comfortable out there, I think, as we started off the morning. Currently, we're at a temperature of 59 degrees. Dew point value is close but not equal to that 59. It's coming in at 57. If temperature and dew point were closer together, you might see a little bit more widespread fog. Uh, wind speeds are light enough. It's southeast at 5 to help support some of that fog forming. But again, 
I think as dawn breaks, we'll watch those temperatures rise pretty rapidly up into the 60s and eventually even by lunchtime into the upper 70s. So it'll be a mostly sunny day today and plenty of dry weather in store right straight through the afternoon into the evening hours. Daytime high topping out near that 80 degree mark. Back to you. No, the holidays are the busiest travel time of the year. Many passengers coming in and out of SRQ Airport seeing a lot of delays even this morning, along with a few cancellations. ABC 7's Shane Bata spoke with some travelers who were enjoying their vacation but didn't have such a happy time coming back. Just waited it out. There's really nothing you can do. So it's been a, it's been a crazy week. You can say that again. Delays have been causing headaches for passengers coming in from all over the country. Here's a look at some of the arrivals at SRQ earlier in the afternoon. Some flights were held up for an hour, while others had to wait up to five hours just to get here. We talked to passengers who have been dodging delays and cancellations caused by weather, maintenance, you name it. One man is grateful his son even made it back to Florida on Monday. His noon flight from Pittsburgh changed so many times before taking off, the family wondered if it would take off at all. They changed it to three then backed it up to 2.30 and then 2.15 and finally he left at about 1.30. So he's, he's on his way here right now. That being said, most of the passengers I talked to are taking the mishaps in strides. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah, I've seen a lot more crowded, but the, you know, very crowded flight. I was super happy to take my mask off when I got here. <laughs> yeah, sure. And my flannel shirt. <laughs> All right, should note that I just checked the uh, SRQ board. Two Delta flights this morning that were slated for departure have been canceled. We'll keep you posted throughout the morning and afternoon as well as evening right here on ABC7. Changing topics, the Sun Coast is known for having some of the best beaches in the world, but we also have incredible ecosystems. They are so amazing, the state of Florida is working to preserve them. Well, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection claims there are close to 500,000 acres of mangrove forests in the state's southern coastal zone. And as ABC 7's Justin Hobbs tells us, about 1,000 of those acres are on Rattlesnake Key. Our waters here on the Sun Coast are a vital resource, both for us and our marine life. But as are our mangrove forest, and right here on Rattlesnake Key, nearly a thousand acres of this mangrove forest could possibly become protected as well as the next state park here on the Sun Coast. The state of Florida has been looking to purchase the key for quite some time. Now, originally there were development plans proposed to make the key a new port for cruise ships. However, the state believes that it would be more enjoyable seeing that the mangrove forests are preserved since mangrove forests across the state have dwindled. However, the hefty price tag of $30 million did lead to some setback. But now Manatee County is coming forward, saying that they want to help make this purchase happen. And they're willing to front 10% or $3 million towards that purchase price. And locals are thrilled that the county is helping the state push for this effort. I think it's absolutely amazing because the more you preserve, the more you're protecting everything for the future. And right now, I just think if you take things down and you build on it, you can never go back from that. So the more that Florida can preserve, it's, it's one of the most beautiful states I've ever been in. I mean, it's gorgeous. So the more we can preserve, the better off we're always going to be. Again, this is still quite early in the process, but if this purchase does happen again, a thousand acres of mangroves would then become protected. And I will say just from my time spent here on Rattlesnake Key, I've not seen a rattlesnake so far today. On Rattlesnake Key, Justin Hobbs, ABC7, your local station. Boy, so very scenic no matter where you go here in Sarasota, <laughs> so right? I was at Sarasota Bay yesterday looking out at St. Armand's, then over uh, Longboat gorgeous. Key and just taking it all in. Blue right. water, blue skies, just, just fantastic. Right, and it certainly is, you know, a step in the right direction, being able to preserve that area of Florida because there's just so much natural resources here and it's always a good idea to yeah. uh, protect those. All right, coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, TikTok making headlines again, as always, this time for a new trend that's actually causing concerns for teens' mental health. And how one loving couple received a Christmas miracle after losing a prized possession. We're back after this. To start your day off right, you gotta start with Good Morning Suncoast and Good Morning America. 
It's the season of savings at Gersani's RV World. And what could be merrier than a brand new RV? Shop motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and more from top brands like Winnebago, Forest River, and Thor. Locations in Tacomas, Bradenton, Lakeland, and Fort Myers. Online at GersaniesRVWorld.com. This holiday season, your local Acura dealer is breaking out the toys. Acura season of performance. Track sold separately. Visit your Bay Area Acura dealer for attractive offers on the RDX. Did you know homeowners could spend up to 54% more this winter to heat their homes? With supply shortages, HVAC equipment could also be hard to find. Now is the time to buy from Unique Services. Save up to $17.50 on select energy efficient heating and cooling systems with no interest and no payments for 12 months. Call Unique Services now for a free consultation. Call 941-500-9819 to schedule your appointment. Unique Services. You need Unique. I've been on this program for about 12 weeks now and I've lost 22 inches and approximately a little over 9 pounds. I'm no longer wearing baggy clothes. I came away with my joints feeling better, my skin looks better, I just feel better overall. You might be skeptical at first, but it really works. This might look like a cliffhanger, but this is the Nissan sales event at. There's something to hold on to. This is the part where I rush to save the day. Wow, what a ride. Hurry in and save up to 4262 on select models. Better bring that home for the holidays. It's the season of savings at Gersani's RV World. And what could be merrier than a brand new RV? Shop motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and more from top brands like Winnebago, Forest River, and Thor. Locations in Tacomas, Bradenton, Lakeland, and Fort Myers. Online at GersaniesRVWorld.com. Seven-day forecast sponsored by the Gettle Automotive Family of Dealerships. Gettle's got it. And all I thought to myself when I saw the ring was, oh my God, what if it was my ring or his ring? You know, I, I would want someone to try and find a way to get it back to me. She posted a photo on social media. All right, well, this is Just my favorite story of the morning. Thanks to the power of social media, a lost wedding band was found at a South Florida restaurant, and it actually made its way back to its owner just in time for Christmas. The ring itself has helped write a bit of Christmas miracle story about the power of social media. Yeah, here's what <laughs> happened. A few days ago, Bob and Katie Mann were eating at one of their favorite restaurants in Fort Lauderdale when Bob dropped his wedding ring without realizing it. Michelle Heiser, who was at the restaurant with her husband, found it and immediately posted a photo on social media looking for the rightful owner. Within hours, Michelle was able to get in contact with the couple. Get this, they've been married for 56 years. She delivered the ring on Christmas. I asked him if he had lost a ring. And he said, no. He said, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't have my ring on. It must be. He thought it was in the bathroom and he couldn't find it. It was just great that they would follow through like that. I think they were more enthused than we were. Bob's a man of few words, <laughs> but he's glad to have his ring back. That ring came back just in time for Bob and Katie's wedding anniversary, which is this week. Oh, I love that. Just in time for the anniversary. Sweet, it almost seems like it was supposed to happen, right? Just in a matter of time. They seem very much in love <laughs> still yeah. to this day. After married for a while, you always have that panic if it's not there, right? Where is it, right? Yeah. It's true. Know, I mean, for a lot of folks, they never take their wedding ring off after it's put on. That's you a know? smart idea. Never. Yeah. I know my father, to the day he died, even in surgery, had them only slide the ring up off his oh. finger and right. tape it before he never That's took so it off. That's so sweet. Yeah, sweet. I know. It is. We're looking at some uh, lovely weather for us here today on the Sun Coast with warm, sunny skies. As dawn breaks, temperatures will rapidly climb from the 59 degrees where they are right now. With a dew point value of 57 degrees, we'll be watching our daytime high probably 
we climb to near 80 before it's all said and done. You know, we're on track to have one of the warmest Decembers on record in many locations across the state of Florida. It's uh, just been one day after another after another with uh, the record breaking heat. And uh, you know what? I think we'll probably see temperatures well above average again today coming in at around 80 this afternoon. And the, the, the thing is, there's not going to be much in the way of any kind of rainfall either. So a great day to be at the beach and enjoy our wave action out there. We'll go with about 77 at the coastline. The water temperatures a little bit cooler coming in at around 70. Now they've lost a few degrees over the last uh, couple of days, but not that bad still. Temperature 71, so that that's comfortable for a lot of folks. Certainly a lot of our visitors. Uh, fog, yeah, there may be some out there over the next several days, but in general, no lightning risk. Rip current risk is low with our winds generally out of the east and the surf height very pleasant coming in at about a foot. Now here's what's coming up on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, experts warning about what they call a troubling trend on TikTok that could leave some teens believing they have a serious mental disorder. Some videos listing possible signs to look out for and encouraging viewers to self-evaluate. 18-year-old Samantha Fridley says she was convinced she was suffering from one of those conditions. I remember just seeing these videos like on my For You page about just like people saying like, oh, here's signs you may have this disorder. Like it was like bipolar or like borderline or um, all these different like rare disorders I've never even heard of before. Um, and my mind like would just be like, you know, like maybe I don't have just depression and anxiety, maybe it's something else. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll talk to one expert who says these videos can pose an alarming risk. With your GMA First Look, I'm Arielle Reshef, ABC News, New York. I recommend Nature Made Vitamins because I trust their quality. They were the first to be verified by USP, an independent organization that sets strict quality and purity standards. Nature Made the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. Okay, everyone, our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Yay! Ensure complete balanced nutrition with 27 vitamins and minerals and ensure complete with 30 grams of protein. Don't settle for products that give you a sort of white smile. Try Crest Whitening Emulsions for 100% whiter teeth. It's highly active peroxide droplets. Swipe on in seconds. Better, faster, 100% whiter teeth. Shop CrestWhiteSmile.com. All the serums out there. This is the number one in the world. Revitalift Hyaluronic Acid Serum from L'Oreal. It seriously hydrates to visibly replumb skin and reduces wrinkles. Effective for all skin tones. Revitalift Hyaluronic Acid Serum from L'Oreal Paris. You've been in an accident and you're hurt. It's time to get serious. I will take the time to meet with you and personally explain all the legal issues in your case. Call us today or go to justicepays.com. For those ready to answer adventure's highest calling, we've built our most capable Subaru yet. With sure-footed symmetrical all-wheel drive, 9.5 inches of ground clearance, and turbocharged climbing power. Discover Adventure Elevated, the all new 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness. Get a new Subaru and Subaru will donate $250 to charity during the Subaru Share the Love event. Honey, I'm so glad we're spending this time together. Yeah, honey, I've been waiting for this for years. Does this place have a fireplace in it? It sure does, and I'm gonna go get some firewood. Does this place even have electricity? Or cell phone signal? No after holiday sale this year, Julie. <laughs> Come on, phone. I gotta get a signal. <gasps> Welcome. Reservations for Steve Weintraub? <laughs> Just you? Just one. <laughs> Flying solo today. <laughs> yes, I have a signal. There's no time to talk. Put everything on sale. But Steve said we weren't having an after holiday sale. Put everything on sale. Up to 50%? Yes, everything. Mom, are you okay? Do you need help? Oh, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Back from my after holiday sale. Oh no, Julie, not again. My father had two heart attacks and is missing half of one of his lungs from smoking. 
it really makes me regret ever starting. I don't want to smoke because I don't want to be like my dad. I don't want to be in a wheelchair with an oxygen machine behind me. I want to quit to be healthy. I want to be able to be there with my children. I want to enjoy life to the fullest. Visit TobaccoFreeFlorida.com to find free resources to help you quit your way. Pre-owned vehicles. Matthews Curry Ford is your number one dealer. During our year-end cash payout, your number one is giving you $150 cash for Christmas when you pre-order a new Ford in stores or online at preordermyford.com. And when your new Ford is here, get an extra $2,000 cash. Plus, we'll buy your car even if you don't buy one of ours and get the Matthews Curry guarantee. The vehicle you're looking for is at Matthews Curry Ford under the giant American flag. Time and Temp sponsored by your local Honda dealer. Now on Good Morning Suncoast at 630, changing rules in the fight against COVID as the CDC releases new isolation restrictions for sufferers testing positive and shortening the quarantine time. That story and more are coming up, but first, continuing coverage of breaking news out of Denver, Colorado this morning, where five people have died in a shooting spree that began downtown and continued west into a suburb. That's right. Well, one of them dead is the suspect we're learning. Three others are injured, including an officer. According to the Denver Police Department, the spree started a little after five Monday evening on First Avenue and Broadway. Well, a little bit later, officers were dispatched to a second and then a third shooting. Authorities say the officer involved was taken to a hospital with a gun shot wound and is listed in stable condition authorities. They're still investigating what started this shooting spree. However, they say there is no current threat to the public. Meredith. We do have breaking traffic news in our area. Here is a live view. Southbound I-75 in the Northport area shut down. Here's what happened, happened earlier this morning. A fuel tanker overturned, and there is a possibility that fuel is leaking from the vehicle. So we have first responders on scene assessing the situation right now. So again, southbound 75. This is just before the Char or rather the uh, that's correct, Charlotte, Sarasota County line. You're not going to be able to go any farther south of about Toledo Blade Road. So here is the alternate. If you know somebody driving right now, give them a call. Tell them to exit at Toledo Blade, take Price Boulevard to Veterans Boulevard, and use the Kings Highway on ramp. If you need to head south and you haven't left your house yet, thank you for watching. First of all, your detour, Tamiami Trail to the Kings Highway on ramp. We will continue to follow this breaking news for you, and we'll have an update in just a couple of minutes. For now, we're going to turn things over to meteorologist John Scalzi, who has much better news than I do. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of working out pretty well for us weather-wise here this morning. We haven't had a lot of thick fog across the region, but we have had some at times around Punta Gorda. But otherwise, our visibilities at Venice and Sarasota both look just fine. Down there in Punta Gorda, though, the visibilities they have at times been reduced to a third of a mile, but they're currently very nice. Uh, as far as the conditions across the region, they're mild, a little bit more mild than they were 24 hours ago, thanks to a little extra humidity kind of lifting up from the south, a little bit more moisture, and that's going to be the case over the next several mornings. That will lead to some patchy fog for the next several mornings as well. 59 Sarasota, 54 in Parrish, 55 in Bradenton, Mayaka at 55, 58 in Inglewood, wind speed Speeds are fairly light north and south. Should be a nice boating day today, but the light winds do encourage fog formation across the region. So we'll be watching that over the next several mornings. Back to you, Craig. All right, time now 6.33 as you wake up on this Tuesday morning. New information in the fight against COVID-19 and the Omicron variant. The CDC now issuing new guidance about isolation times for those infected. M. Wynn tells us about the race to get tested and the impact on the, of the virus rather on the world of sports as the new year approaches. Cases of the Omicron variant surging across the nation, casting concerns over fast approaching New Year celebrations. The U.S. now averaging more than 206,000 new COVID-19 cases each day, a number that has more than doubled since Thanksgiving. 
The CDC updating its guidance for asymptomatic Americans who test positive for COVID, cutting the isolation period in half from 10 to 5 days, then wearing a mask around others for another 5 days. Dr. Anthony Fauci telling CNN. We want to get people back to the jobs, particularly those with essential jobs, to keep our society running smoothly. Other health experts echoing that sentiment. I think this is a terrific move. Uh, there's really no reason why we need to be isolating people for 10 days anymore. I think we have very good evidence that most people, particularly those who are vaccinated and boosted, are not contagious for that long. The wave of new COVID cases prompting a rush for testing, long lines, some lasting hours, spanning blocks, in some cities, maxed out sites. Children's cases are rapidly climbing as well. Nearly 200,000 more kids tested positive for COVID last week, up 50% since the start of December. This includes 13-year-old Sebastian Irechita, his mother saying she regrets not vaccinating him. When you're sitting there and you're looking at your child and you don't know if they're going to live, you don't know if they're going to make it, it's such a struggle to see. Meantime, Dr. Fauci also suggests it might be time to require proof of vaccination to fly domestically, saying it's not only safer that way, but it also might add another incentive to get more people vaccinated. Emwin, ABC News, Washington. And we're already seeing the new wave of COVID-19 disrupt various sectors of the economy. Boveth Yates explains how testing sites are bursting at the seams this holiday season. That's right, once again, COVID cases are on the rise. And with the holiday weekend closures, many people have been scrambling to find COVID testing sites. Now this site at Tropical Park is wrapped around the block. So I just wanna make sure I don't have anything and I don't contain anyone else. Christina Jimenez is among those who spent part of their holiday weekend getting a COVID test. According to the Florida Department of Health, from December 17th to the 23rd, there were more than 125 new COVID cases statewide. Broward County accounting for more than 25,000 of that figure and Dade, 52,000. And as cases continue to skyrocket, the number of people getting tested have drastically increased. I'm very much scared. A lot of people are getting sick lately. Um, I'm going back to college in a couple weeks. Hopefully college won't have to go back online. But college students aren't the only ones worried about rising COVID cases. Over the weekend, multiple Florida-based cruise ships experienced outbreaks. So we knew from the rumblings on the ship that there were a few crew members who had tested positive for COVID. Um, I believe there was a few uh, passengers as well. Carnival Freedom was among the ships with positive COVID tests, and passengers we spoke to say it resulted in their crews not being able to stop in several of the scheduled locations. We weren't allowed to dock at Bonaire or Aruba, so they got permission from the Dominican to dock there. In a statement, the cruise line wrote in part, Carnival Freedom followed all protocols, and a small number on board were placed in isolation due to positive COVID tests. They added they implemented the protocols necessary to protect the health and safety of their guests and crew. They did everything that they could do to make the, the trip enjoyable. That was Bo Beth Yates reporting. Meanwhile, back here on the Sun Coast, people lining up to get tested for COVID-19. As you can see, lines stretching so long, it took hours to get through them in some of those places. Like at former Sarasota Kennel Club on Old Bradenton Road. Well, on Monday, the wait time was four hours. This at a time when many are needing quick testing for quick visiting of family for New Year's. All right, same topic. If you're planning on getting a COVID test or vaccination, Beware of this. The vaccination clinics run by the health departments in downtown Sarasota and Northport will be closed on December 30th and December 31st. On New Year's Day, testing sites at the Sarasota Kennel Club, the Robert L. Taylor Community Center, Dallas White Park, and Ed Smith Stadium will also be closed. John. Yep, looking at good weather for us today, that's for sure. In fact, we're going to close out, I think, uh, 2021 is uh, a really pleasant warm uh, day, uh, warm uh, week. 
We may actually get close to breaking some records across the state of Florida in terms of our warm weather for the month of December, perhaps in the top uh, top five, certainly in the top 10. We've just had that string of warm weather. As far as uh, rainfall goes, it's not in the cards for us today. In fact, because of the warm conditions and beautiful, beautiful skies, you may choose to uh, spend sunset at the uh, coastline, in which case you're going to enjoy some very pleasant weather. Daytime highs at the coast will probably top out in the upper 70s. We'll go with 80 on the main land and only a few fair weather clouds in the afternoon. No rain in the forecast. All right, 639 this morning. What's next for the Colorado truck driver responsible for the, that deadly pile up in 2019? See these fiery images on your screen. It's a big question as the judge will hear a request for a reduced sentence. Stay with us. Say goodbye to your energy bill with Tesla's solar powered roof. Call today for a free estimate. Why worry? The New Year sale is going on now at Ashley Home Store. Get up to 30% off throughout the store and online. Or get 0% interest for six years with no minimum purchase. Only at Ashley Home Store. This is home. A proud partner of the Tampa Bay Lightning. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, that moment when we see a patient smile is everything to us. So whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dental implants, we're here to help you. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. Go ahead and smile. This holiday season, your local Acura dealer is breaking out the toys. Acura season of performance. Tracks sold separately. Visit your Bay Area Acura dealer for attractive offers on the RDX. Turn to the local AC experts you can trust to take care of all your home's cooling needs. Just call ABC. Get the most out of your AC unit with an ultimate AC tune-up for just $49. ABC Southwest Plumbing and Air Conditioning. Consider it done. When it comes to weather, we know you're focused on what's happening here, south of the Skyway. So are we. We spend all day building first alert weather forecasts based on weather that will impact you in Sarasota and Manatee counties. We're proud to be ABC7, your local station. Hey, Newport Ritchie. Ashley Home Stores Outlet has dining room furniture at everyday low prices. Dining table starting at $199. Dining chairs starting as low as $29. And bar stools starting at just $49. Discover a great deal for less. Ashley Home Store Outlet. Here's what's coming up tonight on ABC7. Welcome to your crawl space. Stupid light. Years of neglect and excess moisture have led to mold, pests, Ugh. and musty smells. You never know what you'll find down here. Creeped out by your crawl space? Call LRE for a free inspection. Have a medical question? Turn to the experts. ABC7 Suncoast Health Experts provide information you need on symptoms, procedures, and more. Watch Mondays at 7.30 and go to mysuncoast.com slash health experts for useful medical insight from local professionals. 6.42 now. Now to Colorado where a judge is hearing a request for a reduced prison sentence given to a truck driver who caused a deadly pileup in 2019 that killed four people and injured several others. What an inferno there. Here's the latest. The prosecution is now seeking a new term that ranges from 20 to 30 years behind bars. As ABC's Morgan Norwood reports this morning, the decision comes after protests and millions of people signing an online petition in support of a different sentence. After nationwide outrage, a Colorado judge now considering the district attorney's request to lower the 110-year prison sentence given to Rogel Aguilera Maderos for an explosive crash that killed four people and injured several others in Denver in 2019. I understand and appreciate the frustration of those wanting an immediate result. I do. But I ask for your patience as we take steps provided for in law as we consider a new sentence. Today's hearing comes after the district attorney, Alexis King, said she would seek a sentence that ranged between 20 to 30 years in prison, calling it a sentence that reflects, quote, an appropriate outcome for Aguilera Maderos' conduct. 
The DA's motion in response to these calls for justice belted out from the steps of the courthouse. They're echoed by nearly 5 million people who signed an online petition asking for his controversial sentence to be reduced. But Gage Evans, whose husband died in this fiery pileup, believes the court made the right decision. For people to recognize that, um, that he was responsible for killing my husband gave me the chance to breathe. Madero's claims his brakes failed in the moments leading up to this crash in 2019, causing him to lose control of his semi-trailer and slam into dozens of stopped cars. But prosecutors argue he was going nearly twice the speed limit for commercial vehicles just before the crash. A jury finding him guilty on 27 counts, the most serious charge being first degree assault. The judge saying he wouldn't have chosen this lengthy sentence, but his hands were tied by state laws, which carry mandatory minimum penalties for certain crimes and require some sentences to be served consecutively. And a Colorado judge has scheduled Aguilera Medeiros' resentence. All right, we have breaking traffic news in our area. All lanes of southbound I-75 now closed at Toledo Blade Road. This is due to an overturned fuel tanker south of this area possibly leaking fuels. We have multiple first responders on scene. Again, I-75 now shut down at Toledo Blade Road. I'm not surprised by this. I was giving you the detour earlier. Here's what you need to do. From Toledo Blade, you take Price Boulevard down to Veterans Boulevard and use the Kings Highway on-ramp. So if you know someone traveling in this area, give them a call. Give them that detour. If you have not left home yet, you'll want to take Tamiami Trail to the Kings Highway on ramp again southbound 75 close as you approach the Charlotte County line here in Sarasota County. We'll continue to follow this for you and bring you updates throughout the morning. Traffic is brought to you by Roofing by Curry. And now we're going to turn things over to meteorologist John Scalzi. John. Well, that's quite something. It could be a while too if they have a call in hazmat coming up that fuel. We're looking at uh, 59 degrees, the air temperature outside. Pretty nice start to the day, actually, as dawn is beginning to break on the Sun Coast. We'll watch those temperatures rise quickly from the 60s into the 70s to the upper 70s by the time we hit lunchtime today. It's going to be a warm day once again with plenty of sunshine around. Not much in the way of a rain chance. We'll look at a zero chance of rain. In fact, as high pressure builds in and expands from the Atlantic across our area, it's fair weather skies all the way. As we go through the remainder of the week, we stay on the warm side of average coming in near the 80 degree mark. Then boom, we plummet on Monday. That's because of an approaching cold front that promises us some changing weather. Across the nation, we've got an area of disturbed weather in the deep south. But for us anyway, we're looking at a big ridge of high pressure that remains our dominant weather feature right straight through the next several days. That area of high pressure is caused by a big wave in the atmosphere setting up this high in the Atlantic that's going to continue kind of drifting closer and closer to the state of Florida as we go through time. That's going to take all of these inclement weather patterns and kind of push them north and to the northeast and away from the state of Florida, at least through the remainder of this week. Now, as we go through the week, another thing that that high pressure area will do will be to direct our winds out of the east or southeast, and that brings up the moisture and the humidity. So you'll definitely notice an increase in humidity, maybe a few fair weather clouds as well as we go through the week, but rain should hold off thanks to that high pressure ridge. So slowly increasing humidity, warmer than average temperatures by three to five degrees actually this week. And then New Year's Eve looks to be absolutely beautiful. Actually, the snowfall forecast across country features more heavy snow back to the west in the intermountain regions and also along coastal regions. You could pick up some snow at the uh, Cascades and and the uh, some of the ridges along the coastline of, uh, of California. <clears throat> and also along the coastline that will transition into some heavy rainfall for California. Uh, some lake effect snows up in the northeast, but deep south looks good. Florida, of course, looks great. And all of the cold air locked to the north keeps us on the warm side of average. So winds and seas increasing perhaps by the end of the week as another front approaches our area that could cool us down on Monday, as we just showed you. But we enjoy until then some very pleasant weather with northeast winds coming in at about or southeast winds rather coming in at about five to ten. No chance of rain for several days. Then on Saturday, New Year's Day, a beautiful daytime high of about 81 to start the new year. And on Sunday, that slight chance of rain with the next approaching front that lowers our temperature significantly on Monday and brings us another string of beautiful days. Kels.
All right, 649, the time now new this morning in your entertainment news. After the recent release of Spider-Man, Batman also making a comeback. Douglas Hyde has a sneak peek in today's Hollywood Minute. The bat and the cat. It's got a nice ring. Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman is front and center in the new trailer for the Batman. New footage from the film shows the budding relationship between the two costume characters. Who are you under there? Selena, don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. The Batman also stars Robert Pattinson and takes place during the Dark Knight's early years fighting crime. It opens in theaters March 4th. 2020 was a hard year for all of us. It's been a year of the pandemic, so much change. However, it's a moment to really remind ourselves of what really matters to us, which is each other. The Fab Five return this week, and this time they're in Austin helping 10 Texans in need of a little self-care after enduring some tough times during the pandemic. All 10 episodes of the new Queer Eye season drop Friday on Netflix. The online ticket selling portal Fandango asked thousands of ticket buyers which franchise films they were most looking forward to next year. And it turns out many of them are in the mood for Marvel. Black Panther Wakanda Forever topped the list, followed by part one of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. In Hollywood, I'm Douglas Hyde. All right, headlines are next as you head out the door on this Tuesday. We'll be right back. Bellissimo, bravo, bravo. Stanley Tucci plus Rach's Italian Villa Tour. Next, Rachel. Today at 3 on ABC7. Get away with our best deals of the season at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. With new cars arriving daily, it's the perfect time to get a Hyundai. Now lease a 2022 Santa Fe for $229 a month or buy with 0% APR for 48 months. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Christmas Nights on 103.9 KISS FM. All your Christmas favorites starting at 7 p.m. on 103.9 KISS FM. You've heard it before. We beat the competition. So many businesses say that now. But how many actually ask you to call the competition and compare? Window World has no tricks, no high pressure. Window World's slogan is simply the best for less. And we mean it. We offer you top quality windows at the best price available with the absolute best guarantee in the window replacement business. Call Window World today. Window, window World, simply, simply the, the best, best for less. less. Cadillac certified pre-owned vehicles. Exclusively available at your participating Cadillac dealer. Each one must meet high standards and receives a 172 point inspection, along with a one year unlimited mile warranty after the original warranty expires. Come in today for exceptional offers on Cadillac certified pre-owned models. And drive home with attractive benefits like courtesy transportation, roadside assistance, and more. That's good. Since my mother got cancer from smoking, I've learned a lot of things. Like how to help her out of bed, how to help her in the bath, how to keep track of her medication, and how to keep her spirits up. Sleep well. I love you. I love you. Tobacco-Free Florida offers free nicotine patches to help start your quit journey. 1-877-YOU-CAN-NOW. Get away with our best deals of the season at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. With new cars arriving daily, it's the perfect time to get a Hyundai. Lease an Elantra for $169 a month or buy an Elantra or Sonata with 0% APR or get a 1,000 bonus cash. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Seven-day forecast sponsored by the Gettle Automotive Family of Dealerships. Gettle's got it. It is 6.53. Breaking traffic news out of Sarasota County. All lanes southbound I-75 shut down approaching the Charlotte County line due to an overturned fuel tanker possibly leaking fuel. Multiple fire rescue crews on scene. You can see the backup. However, all lanes of traffic now shut down at Toledo Blade Road. Drivers are forced onto Toledo Blade. The detour from Toledo Blade is over to Price Boulevard, then on to Veterans Boulevard. And 
and then accessing 75 from the Kings Highway on ramp. If you have not left home yet, you'll want to take Tamiami Trail to Kings Highway and access the interstate from there. We will continue to keep you updated. Again, southbound 75 shut down from Toledo Blade Road to approaching the Charlotte County line due to an overturned fuel tanker. Traffic brought to you by Roofing by Curry. And now here's your forecast. Yeah, that's a traffic nightmare, but at least the weather is cooperating at all locations across the Sun Coast. We did have some patchy fog this morning with some reduced visibilities around Punta Gorda. That has since dissipated. Everybody's got D Decent enough visibilities uh, that it shouldn't be a problem. As we go through the week ahead, we'll look at these temperatures riding up near the 80 degree mark, finishing off this week as possibly one of the top 10, perhaps even top five warmest Decembers on record. But as we go into next year, we'll watch a front move through on Sunday that drops our temperature about 10 degrees on Monday. Back to you. All right, here this morning's top stories. Authorities in Denver still investigating the cause of a shooting spree that killed five people, including the suspect, and injured at least three others, including a police officer. At this time, authorities say there is no current threat to the public. COVID testing sites are popping up in more locations while the CDC releases new isolation restrictions, reducing the quarantine from 10 to 5 days for sufferers as the new Omicron variant spreads. Thanks for joining us this morning. For Meredith Sinsulo and John Scalzi, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Kelsey Karen. Stick around. Good Morning America is coming up next. And have a great Tuesday. That was fast.